Alright guys, back at Smash Fishing. I'm gonna go do some rocky bashing while fishing for some wrasse and some crab wheeling. So hopefully we get a few. If we get a nice sized spider, we'll be doing a catch and cook. But first of all, we went and got some bait yesterday. So we got a little bit of footage of that. Got Sam with me. Hell yeah. We're gonna go out for the monsters. So stay tuned guys, it's Smash Fishing. Some good music. You can't beat that, there's a lot of people on the beach. Is there any <laughs> it's always good fun. How I'm digging these bait is I'm literally just getting my pick and digging like this and eventually you'll find some like so they're not monster ragworm but they, they've got a great wiggle on them they're ideal for wrasse fishing might even find some verm doing this depending on the ground but hopefully we can find a big bunch so stay tuned guys got the bait all ready nice pollock head Sam's down there, he's just baited up. We get these two out. The last one we're gonna we're gonna catch some bait for it. We're gonna hopefully get a few rockies. I'm gonna throw the third one out. Woo! It's half tied down at the moment. We'll be fishing all the way to low water. So hopefully, hopefully the crabs are there, hopefully a few rats as well. Woo! Stay tuned guys. This is what we're using as a rig. We lose as, well, as minimal tackle as we can. It's just two dropper loops snipped off and then two size one hooks. A small 1.0 weight. I just made a uh, little loop in the top. That's all you need for rocky bashing or wrasse fishing or whatever you want to call it. We call them rockies over here. And what we're using is a small spin rod. Like so and that's it. We'll let you know if we get any fish guys. This is the bait choice today two hooks with a harbour rag and a really small crab on this would be a killer for any big rockies that are down there hopefully we get a few guys Sam's just setting up he's gonna get baited up and hopefully we slay some we need some more bait <laughs> yeah, I don't have my harness today so I won't be able to film too much of the fishing but when we catch we'll let you know and when we pull up the crab wheels hopefully we get a few it's a brilliant day summer's day it's quite a big swell but we're fishing into gullies at the moment, so there should be some wrasse around. Woohoo! Stay tuned, guys. Could be fun. This is a cork wing wrasse. First fish of the uh, trip. Beautiful little fish. Here we go going back. We're constantly getting hounded at the moment by uh, little fish taking the bait. There's got to be some big ones down there somewhere. That fish Stay went tuned. back well. He was caught on the little ragworm. I'm still using the same bait. We've got a crab on the bottom just in case there's a big one. <laughs> Woo, he went back well. We want a big one so we can get the next wheel out. The next wheel's still sitting there. <laughs> Come on, Sam, catch him. <laughs> Sam's going for the first wheel. Wonder if there's anything in it. Anything? No. Yeah. Oh, hey. Little babby one. First crab coming up. Little baby male one. Tell it's a male by the big claws. Hell oh, yeah. This one will go back. We'll throw it away from the wheels. Do you want to cannonball it, mate? Cannonball! cannonball. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! We'll get that one out and we'll get the next one up, guys. Hopefully, there's a big one. Gonna get the second wheel up now, guys. Hopefully, he's got something. <laughs> it's not looking good. No. Oh, oh it's on the bottom. That's a big one. That was a nice one, eh? Yeah. Straight on the bottom. Another pretty little uh, cork wing wrasse here. And we got another wrasse down there, small ballon. We're gonna use these two as bait now. This one's full of guts, so we can finally get that third wheel out. Oh look, my, my setup just came off. <laughs> pretty little things, but they're gonna go to a good use at the moment. We want that big spider crab. 
pretty Climbing though. Climbing up to take the, uh, the wheel to a different sort of spot. Big gullies down the back here. There's a long way down. It's a great view. Woo! Gotta be like a mountain goat to do this, especially around this area. As you can see, it's a pretty steep drop. I'm gonna turn the camera off, keep you updated when I'm the there, guys. in the water now. Just climb down from all the way up there somewhere. <laughs> Woo! It's a big deep gully here. I can see some spiders down the side there. So there's no reason in the deep part they couldn't be uh, cooped up. Hopefully there's some big ones. There's a lot of crab pots around. Just shows how many crab are here. There's never usually pots here, but as soon as the uh, crab season starts, that's it, it's flooded. <laughs> Stay tuned guys. I'm gonna go meet up with Sam. And hopefully we got something in the Just other fishing wheel. and we pull up an old wheel. Someone's obviously lost it. Just pulled up <laughs> one of the wheels. Got another male spider. It's a bit small for us, so we're gonna cannonball him back. We just dropped the big one around the corner. But nice to see they're still here. They should be coming in more of them soon. Woo! Gonna get this out. Hopefully get a few more guys. Stay tuned. That's what we come for. <laughs> Pulled up one of our wheels, guys, and look at the size of that. <laughs> it's bigger than the last one. That's got to be a three pounder all day. That's what we come for. When we get home, we'll do this as a catch and cook. So we'll cook this up, show you how to prep it, guys. Stay tuned. How we keep them alive, guys, you've seen in the first video. We put them in the bucket. We brought the dive bag with us today. I'm not really sure if it's going to fit very well, but that's all right. It's always best to keep them in the water, keep them fresh. Do you see? That's a, that's a huge crab there. What we do is dunk them in, strap it to the rock, and go get some more. There's divers around at the moment, so we might change the spot. We'll see how it goes. Stay tuned. Got all the wheels packed up now, guys. We didn't get much more. As you can see where that big red bobber is, there's divers everywhere now. So what we're gonna do is pack up, go home, and get ready for the catch and cook. Stay tuned. Sam's just weighing the crab at the moment. It's quite a heavy one, so we're just curious how heavy it really is. What's it gonna be, Sam? Four pound three. Four pound three. <laughs> That's a big spider, folks. Perfect for the catch and cook. <laughs> Woo, we're gonna start walking home now. Crab on get ready, boys. We're back in the kitchen. All you need is just a nice big pot with a, enough water in it just to cover cover the top of the shell. It's quite a big crab. So you can see that's the sink. Four pound three. All we're putting in the water is loads of salt and vinegar. Vinegar just helps it helps you uh, pick it once it's cooked. I'm gonna put some more water in there. Always good to boil the kettle first. Gets the process going quicker. And once that hits boiling point, we'll be cooking it for 20 minutes. The pot's almost at boiling point now. So what I'm going to do is put the crab in. You can put the crab on ice if you wanted to, because it'll put it to sleep for a bit. I'm not going to bother. He's well on his way, he's almost dead. It's going to be a bit of a struggle getting this one in the pot. That's for sure. <laughs> it's a big crab. Come on, get in. Make sure the crab's well submerged. There you go. In there, this is a big pot, <laughs> but yeah, we're going to give this a good 20 20 odd minutes. As it's a big crab, you want it to cook through, and then we'll, then we'll start picking it, guys. Stay tuned. It's been 20 minutes now. What I'm going to do is get a nice something to drain off this. You see some scum at the top, this comes up with all sorts of crabs. 
You just go around, there isn't much on here. Just take that out, chuck it in the bin. I'm going to get some tongs and some sort of sieve. I'm going to have some water. <laughs> Stay tuned. Once you're ready to take them out, all you need is a big pair of tongs or just some spoons. That's all we have at the moment. Ooh, that looks good. <laughs> just got to let the water drain off a little bit. Get it into a bowl. Hell yeah. That's what we're talking about, guys. That looks awesome. <laughs> Stay tuned, we'll let it cool down a little bit and then we'll get picking it. What you want to do to pick this crab, guys, is I'm going to give you a quick run through as I want to get eaten. I think Sam wants to as well. <laughs> Look at that. That is awesome. What you're doing is taking all the legs off. It's better to pull them backwards. Sometimes you can get the knocker out with it. And you end up with loads of meat. Oh yeah, just like that. Hell yeah. With the body, all you're doing is pulling the back off. You gotta trim it up and all your meat is left on the inside of here. We're not gonna be picking that today. But we're just going to give you a small run through of how to dismantle it. If you like the inside shell, you push the, push the mouth in. And as you can see there, there's the inner shell. And that's all edible. But the main, the majority of the meat is in these big claws like that. That's a sandwich in itself. Can't help myself. <laughs> we're going to get stuck in now, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe if you like my channel. Smash fishing.